The main entrance is guarded. Find another way in. Here is a good place to try and get through. This crate isn't large enough for us to get a wall, nor to see what is on the other side. isn't large enough for us to get over the wall, nor to see what is on the other side. It's covered in barbed wire. It's impossible to pass by there. The way is clear. Good, I'm in. Now I must find Moriarty. The stand's accounts book. The cover is dented. Curious. Let's look at the book's secret. Secret accounts. The stand's owner must do something other than manage a simple coconut shy, and there is a strange poem about animals. Get from a firing range. It depicts a lion. The stand's owner must live. A firing range for children. They have leather balls at the figures of wild animals to knock them over. It's clear that there is a link between the poem in the secret accounts and the animal-shaped tar stand. It seems to me that there is something behind this poster, but it is stuck fast. Elementary. There is a hiding place here. Interesting. I can't see a keyhole to open this hiding place. Let's see. It's the stand's till. There's no money, but there is a wooden target. If the guard sees me, he will sound the alarm. I must neutralize him, but discreetly. There are probably others, and a fight would attract their attention.
a target from a firing range. A telephone line. Interesting. It comes from that large building. I need some. I need some.
There we are. Plicity itself. The Stan's slush fund. I wonder what happy owner that he should leave without his savings. It's open. This building was a menagerie. I'm in the service passage. Oh, what a smell. There must have been wild animals here once. I pity the animals up in here. The cages are very narrow. Apparently it's a medicine chest. First aid, I presume. Closed. Impossible to open it. Nothing of interest here. This cage has been blocked with planks so that the interior is hidden from view. A large syringe for animals of durable size, evidently. Key. Old bandages. Everything points to that cage having been used to treat sick animals. Apparently it's a medicine for first aid, I presume. The only thing intact is this bottle of ether. If the guard sees me, he will sound the alarm. I must neutralize him, but discreetly. There are probably others, and a fight would attract their attention. I need something. I need something. Telephone line. Ding. It comes from that large building. I need something. I I need some. I need There. That should ins our guard.
My little stratagem is in place. All I need to do is to wait for him to come back here. Shut him up, and quickly. Perfect. Thanks to the ether, this baller will sleep on time. Another guard. This place is full of them. There. That should ince our guard. stratagem is in place. All I need to do is to wait for him to come back here. Shut him up, and quickly. Perfect. Thanks to the ether, this baller will sleep on time. Another guard. This place is full of them.
There. That should ins our guard. stratagem is in place. All I need to do is to wait for him to come back here. him up and quickly. Perfect. Thanks to the ether, this baller will sleep long time. Another guard. This place is full of them. I'll risk a confrontation. He'll see me coming and I'll lose the element of surprise. I'll need to find a way to trap him. Be careful of those boxes. They are balanced one on top of the other. It would take very little to knock them over. They must have exhibited those poor wretches in these cages and presented them as being dangerous. Bearded lady. People must have been locked up in here, and they are certain to have been mistreated. The cage is held shut with this bar. It only needs to be pulled away to open it. This cage is still occupied, not by one of the monsters, but by a poor man. He's still alive, but he's barely human now. Moriarty must have tested his poison on this poor fellow. If he was freed, he would leap at the throat of the first person he saw. I could easily open the cage by raising the door, but that poor man would leap on me immediately. I wonder what this machinery is used for. A rail system is fixed to the ceiling, and a hook is hanging from it. It must be used for moving heavy and bulky objects. Thanks to this mechanism, the hook can slide along the rail to be positioned wherever needed. Thanks to this mechanism, Frank is in pl The hook is above the cage of a wretch.
the mer Poseidon's daughter. This large, empty aquarium held the fair's main attraction. is in place. I suppose it was on this small stage that the monsters were presented to the public. Ah, here's some... What a dreadful diary. That Hans is the only real monster ever to have frequented this attraction. Chemistry material. The bearded lady kept the key to this exhibition. Interesting. There is something interesting. Here's what I've been looking for. It is the key to the main entrance door. Another guard. This of them. I cannot risk. It is the key to. The cage is held. This way I can open the poor fellow's cage from the outside without taking any risks. The trap is in place. Now I only need to get the guard to go inside the freak show. The guard must have been warned. I need to get out of here. The guard is side. I must close the door quickly.
The guard is inside. Closed. I must find a way of neutralizing the guard inside. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. I'll be Leo. I'm sure you have a great many things to do. What have we got here? There you are, Holmes. Did you have any problems? None, apart from a few small things. What have you found out about this warehouse? Prince Woodville's soup is loaded and contaminated by hands. And in the direction of Whitechapel. Watson, in a few hours, Moriarty will have at his disposal a formidable army, more powerful and more terrible than anything that has ever existed. What? The soup is destined for a poverty-stricken, starving population who have been conditioned for months against the ruling powers. Moriarty won't have any trouble in sending thousands of raving mad people to ravage the city, sowing death and destruction. No force would be able to resist them, not the police, not even the army. A perfect army, knowing neither fear nor pity. A tidal wave of humanity which will cover London and will fall away again leaving a city of desolation behind it. What horror! And the chaos will only make Moriarty's coup d'etat even easier. But how will he guard himself against this bloodthirsty crowd? The chaos will only last for the time he needs. You mean to say... That these porches will all die. 48 hours after ingesting the soup, according to our good Dr. Shieldman. So the victims, joined by their executioners, an immense mass murder. What Moriarty would call clearing up work, no doubt. Good. Have you found a way of stopping Hans's process? Yes, I think so. If we can weaken Reservoir's feet with the explosives, for example, it will collapse and take the building down with it. Good work. What are you looking at? Have you ever seen anything like this before? Never. 